Hey folks, um, so since I got this machine, a couple of people have expressed an interest in knowing uh, how you interact with a machine like this. Um, this particular machine does have a disk drive controller in it. I don't have any disk drives hooked up to it. Even if I did, I don't have any floppies that it'll run. So um, I'm going to have to do a lot of work with the front panel switches in order to get it to a point where I can just turn it on and boot. Most people, whenever they think of a computer, they just think of an appliance that you turn on and it starts doing something useful. Uh, these old machines, which were made in the early to mid-70s, uh, were the first... Uh, this was actually the first clone computer ever made. It's a clone of the Altair 8800. And um, if you ask me, it's actually a little bit better uh, machine. Uh, so... You know, to get started with, you know, you might think, okay, we'll turn on the terminal here, and we'll let the terminal come up, and it'll start showing a blinking light up there. Yeah, there's the cursor. The cursor's blinking. Okay, we'll turn the machine on, and it'll boot. No. The machine turns on. It makes a lot of noise. It printed some garbage on the screen, and a bunch of lights are blinking here. Uh, you actually have to stop the machine, reset it, and then examine the address that you want to look at. And yet, there's still still an at sign up there on that monitor. If I type things, nothing happens. Nothing's happening down here. Nothing's happening up there. And uh, so the only input that we have is to use these front panel switches. So in order to make this computer do something, we have to write a program for it. This stuff over here on the right-hand side is the program in assembly language, which is a human-readable machine code. Uh, on the left hand side we have memory addresses and the actual hexadecimal bytes that correspond to the op, uh, the op codes and addresses or whatever else needs to be done. Uh, down at the bottom here we have some text and without any further ado I will go ahead and key in this program. So we're going to do 310030. 3E00E zero, 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 two, one, uh, 1F001F001 zero, zero, E uh, B7CA one D zero zero four F two two zero zero one zero C D zero six E zero two A zero zero one zero two C C three zero A zero zero seven six zero zero now we're getting into the fun part this is the actual text that the program is going to print so we have four seven. It's not going to be these numbers. I'll give you that hint if you don't know the ASCII code. If you do know the ASCII code, uh, try not to spoil it for the people around you because they probably won't get it until they actually see the program run. So there's four five four five. Uh, oops, five four uh, four nine four e. Four seven five three uh, two zero oh, five zero oh, five two four F four six four five five three five three again four F 
five two two oh four six four one four C four B four five four E two E zero D zero A zero A zero zero now when I hit run the computer is going to tell you something greetings professor falcon <laughs> oh I'm such a geek so yeah uh, when that program runs this is what the front panel display does Bzz, tick. Let's say reset Bzz, tick. reset Bzz, tick. reset Bzz, tick. and you can see up here every time I hit reset greetings professor falcon greetings professor falcon now I was gonna go so far as to say how about a nice game of chess but eh, it's a lot more toggling than what I wanted to do so uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video and sorry if it was long and boring and yeah if so, then, yeah, you probably shouldn't have been watching this video. Peace.